Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Python interview questions. That is, what makes Python a platform independent programming language? So in simple words, how it is possible for Python programming to become a platform independent programming language? First of all, you already know that Python is a platform independent programming language. If you get this kind of question in the interview, Okay, first you should have an idea like what exactly is platform independent programming language means. Any programming language can be a platform independent one. What exactly it means? First of all, you should have that idea. So here you see platform independent means this one. Okay, whatever I'm covering now. So let's say there is a machine having Windows OS installed in it. There's a machine having Mac OS in it. There's another machine having Linux, uh, some, other, some of the Linux operating system OS on it. Now, in one of the machine, let's say in Windows machine, you are writing the Python code and you're copying that code into the another machine having this Python software and running it there. Same code, you're not rewriting it again, okay? In order to run this code in Mac OS, you're not rewriting this code again. Instead, the same code that you've already written in the Windows operating system, you're copying into the Mac OS machine and you are able to run directly, okay? It will run, guys, it will run, okay? It will run the code that is written inside the windows can run in mac os machine okay and the code that is written written in windows can also be run in uh, linux os machine okay you don't have to rewrite the code for specially or separately for the linux operating system okay you can write it anywhere run it anywhere you can write it in mac os and run it in mac you can write it in mac and you can run it in linux you can write in linux and run in either mac or windows also this kind of possibility is possible, okay? If it is possible for a programming language uh, to get this kind of structure where, you know, you write the uh, code, programming code that Python, in Python language, if you're writing some code in one of the operating system machine and you're running, running it elsewhere instead of, uh, instead of rewriting it for, uh, especially for the operating system, that particular programming language is called as a platform independent uh, programming language, okay? So if you are able to write in one operating system and run it again, uh, the same code you are able to run instead of rewriting in other operating system is called as that language which is supporting is called as platform independent programming language. But here the question is somewhat different guys. Okay, it's not about uh, is Python a platform independent programming language, but Python is a platform independent programming language. The, the question itself says that Python is a platform independent programming language, but what makes, how does it become a platform independent program? language or what makes it possible for the Python to become a platform independent, uh, okay, programming language. That means you have to go in depth, guys, and explain this, okay, why it is platform independent, okay. So for this, guys, you have to understand something, okay. So let's say this is how it happens, okay. Let's say there is a one machine, let's say Windows machine, let's assume Windows OS is there. Uh, in this, you have installed Python. And since you have installed this Python software in this uh, Windows OS machine, uh, you are writing some Python code here in one of the editors of this, uh, okay, that are supported in Windows OS, right? You are writing some Python code. And now, now what happens is this Python code is generally compiled, okay? So how this code will run in this machine, first of all, how the code that is there in the Windows OS machine will run. So for that, guys, the steps are, first, this particular code will be compiled, okay? Compile. There will be something known as compiler, guys. Okay. Python compiler will be, will be there. First, it will compile. That means all the code at a go in that particular file will be converted into the byte code, an intermediate language code, you can say. Okay. So here we have the computer memory. Let's say this is a computer memory. Okay. Let, this is a memory of this particular uh, Windows OS machine. Let's assume in that computer memory, this Python compiler, because you have installed Python software, it comes with Python compiler automatically. You don't have to download it separately. That Python compiler of this Python software will compile this enter, entire code, okay? And convert that into something known as byte code. What is that? Byte code. Byte code, okay? Some byte code. Uh, byte code is something like, you know, uh, uh, it, it has some kind of characters, guys, uh, you will not be able to understand, actually. When you open the byte code, uh, it will be some kind of uh, characters will be there. It will not be in plain English or something. Some kind of symbols and characters will combination will be there that we cannot understand, okay? So who will understand this byte code? The Python compiler has compiled this entire code, a go, into the byte code. 
but who will understand this byte code? There's something known as Python virtual machine, okay? We simply call it as PVM, guys, in short. This is nothing but Python virtual machine, guys, okay? This Python mach virtual machine can understand this byte code and uh, how the Python virtual machine can understand this, uh, in what basis this byte, byte code can be understood by this uh, Python virtual machine. Here, there is something called as interpreter. PVM will act like an interpreter, guys, okay? PVM can simply will act like an interpreter, okay? Interpreter. You see here in Python, we have both compiling and interpreting. Both are happening, guys, okay? At a high level, compiling is happening where the high level English language, programming language, okay? Whatever the programming code you have written using Python is in high level language, guys. That is getting converted into the bytecode with the help of compiler. Eteco compiler will compile this, uh, convert this from English, high level English language to the bytecode. Now, this bytecode has also a lot of lines that will be converted into the machine code. Okay. Machine understandable code. Machine understandable. That will be nothing but zeros and ones, guys. That is a binary code, you can say. Generally, machine code will be in 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 0, 0001 like that it will be there right that machine understandable code interpreter will be converting okay so this byte code will be converted uh, into the into the machine code and pvm will take the in charge of uh, doing this interpretation okay it will interpret the code line by line guys here at a go all the high level code will be converted into the byte code but here this byte code will be read line by line by this pvm uh, uh, interpreter okay so i'm PVM will also uh, run this, okay, machine understandable code on a particular machine, okay, where this particular code is being written, okay. In this machine, the code is being written. This is actually what happens, okay. Here compiling is there and here. So this makes the thing platform independent at the same time because you see what happens is this is Windows OS. Let's say you have another machine, another computer, this which is Mac OS, let's assume. So when you install Python in this Mac OS, when you install Python software in this Mac OS, Python OS, and if you have to run the same code, the same code that you have run in the Windows OS, if you have to run on the Mac OS, you don't have to rewrite the code again in the Mac OS. They simply copy this file into this, uh, okay? Copy this file into this Mac OS. And here, here also, this Python, okay, will convert that using the compiler and interpreter or this byte code can be understood here also, guys, okay? Because when you install Python, uh, when you install, sorry, uh, here OS I have written, I will remove this OS. Here, whatever the Python software you have installed, right, it will come with something known as PVM, guys, okay? PVM, which will take care of the stuff, okay? Which will take care of the stuff, guys. PVM will take care of the stuff uh, in getting this particular code, okay? In getting this particular code run on Mac OS. You don't have to write this code again for the Mac OS separately. Rather, you write it here, compiling and interpreting will happen and uh, run on the same Windows OS. But if you want to run this code on another operating system like Mac OS, you just copy this file, guys, copy this uh, code, okay, or this byte code along with the uh, Python high-level language code. And P PVM can understand, PVM specific to Mac OS will be there here. When you are installing Python on Mac OS, PVM specific to PVM for Mac OS will be there, okay, supporting that machine. Here, when you install Python in Windows OS, PVM for this Windows OS will be there. So don't have to worry, okay? Respective operating systems have respective PVMs, okay? And uh, that happens with the help of Python, guys, okay? In Java also, the same thing is when you install Java, right? JVM will get installed, okay? JVM respective to your operating system and kind of machine and configurations will be downloaded and installed. The similar way, when you install JV, uh, Java in uh, other operating systems, like Linux or Mac, JVM specific to that particular machines or operating systems will be installed along with Python. So, which will take care of the stuff, okay? These PVMs are responsible for making this Python a platform independent thing, okay? Since when you install Python in, in one operating system, you are getting PVM specific to that particular operating system automatically. You don't have to choose that, okay? When you're installing Python in Mac, you're getting the PVM respective to Mac, okay? When you're installing Python in Linux, PVM specific to Linux is coming there and which will take care of this conversions and all and make it uh, make the machine or operating system understand how to run this code and all, okay? So no need to worry, guys. This PVM will act like a, you know, uh, is the actual reason how this Python or uh, what makes Python a platform independent thing, okay? We don't have to write the code again and again for each and every operating system 
rather once you have written in one of the operating system you can put that code into any of the operating systems and these pvms are responsible for you know for running this code or making the code run without uh, without any uh, any problems okay without any problems where we have to specifically write for a particular operating system that's not really needed because of these pvms so hope guys uh, you got a clear cut idea like uh, how Python is a platform independent programming language and what makes this Python a platform independent programming language. This is all possible because of PVMs for that particular operating systems, okay, when you install Python software in your machine. So hope guys you got the answer for this question in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another Python interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.